You're listening to Morakai Memento. Delve deep into your imagination and experience a fantastical and enchanting journey. If you're willing and able, please support me on Patreon and with super thanks. Now, let's awaken your most passionate desires. Hey, stupid, have you heard of the Stanford Prison Experiment? It's a pretty captivating read. If you can manage all of those big words, I'm not sure you can. Why don't I tell you about it? This researcher wanted to find out what life is like for prisons and guards, and to study the effects of what it means to be a prisoner. It didn't turn out so well for the prisoners or the guards. The guards weren't allowed to do anything really bad to the prisoners, but they could use psychological force to get them to do what they wanted. I think you should spend some time thinking about this, because in order to make you into the perfect partner, I might have to consider using some of these techniques. Leaving you in a cell with no bed, stripping you naked so you have no clothing, just a cold floor to lie on. You haven't been making me happy. You haven't been satisfying me. I give you everything. Absolutely everything. And yet, what am I getting back from you? Nothing, barely any love. I need to really feel your love, and the best way is for you to be the perfect partner. I've outlined exactly what you need to do. All you need to do is manage to do it. Otherwise, we might have to recreate the prison experiment. You know what would be really good about that? Apparently, it was extremely exciting for the guards. They found it very satisfying to exert dominance over their prisoners. That might be the only way you can satisfy me, is to be my little prisoner while I exert dominance over you. And do fun little things like waking you up at 2 a.m., pounding on your cell with a hammer, surprising you out of your sleep, controlling when you eat, controlling what you eat. You have to understand hunger is a powerful motivator, and when you're trapped in a cell, there are many things you'll start to hunger for. And there's only one person who can provide them. That person is me. And I'll have to be satisfied before I provide them to you. The good prisoners, though, they did please the guards and make them happy. And they got their rewards. They got their beds and their clothes back. So you could start on that short journey to earning a bed to sleep on instead of lying on a cold floor.
and I can watch in excitement as you suffer at my hands. And best of all, I don't have to even lift a finger to touch you. It's all in your mind. I'm not actually hurting you. No. It only feels like I'm hurting you. And the mind is a powerful place. It can create anything. It can create the illusion of excruciating pain. So perhaps I'm not beating you. But the neglect, being left alone in a sterile, cold, small cell. That might be just what we need to adjust your attitude. Can you imagine walks in the park where you feel a nice warm sun on you, your skin heating up, feeling affection for me while I feel affection for you? We could sit on a bench and cuddle. Of course, none of that's possible unless you satisfy me. So let's think about the rules and what you need to do. And then we'll see if you can actually follow them or maybe, maybe what you really want is to be put in the prison. Maybe that's your sick fantasy. I'm more than happy to do it. I'll get satisfied either way. Whether you step up and be the partner you're meant to be, or whether I lock you up and make you into the partner you're meant to be.